Okay guys, we're back with Bell and Paddington's F2B English Cream Mini Medium Golden Doodles. These are the boys. Yeah, we have eight boys here. We have peanut butter color over there with yellow. And we have more, uh, what is a classic apricot color here with orange. And then the white here with little lime green. So I'll go through each one. They are three weeks old now. We did a video with just the girls. We did a video with everybody, and now I'm doing a video with just the boys so that you guys aren't too overwhelmed. And we'll probably just split them up in equal, equal groups of six and six, starting with next week, so not necessarily gender, but this way um, you guys can just see them all together. Sometimes it's nice to see them side by side. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay, let's start here over on the end with the peanut butter color, little yellow boy. Hey there, baby boy. Yes, look at that blockiness, that traditional English cream. People ask me, what is the English cream? It is a white, a solid white retriever. And the English cream lines in here are bison. Bison is Bella's daddy. Bella is a Brie and bison puppy. And we use the dad, that's why our coats are a little different than um, our other F2Bs. This English F2B, um, yes, the same generations and the parents are the same, but we used an English cream retriever daddy and the mama as a poodle, as opposed to the other way around, which is what we do with our other litters. And that's where we get these wonderful coats, more retriever looking, more blocky faces, and then we get um, that great non-shedding coat. So it's, uh, and like this, oh, beautiful, soft, soft, softness, yeah. So the English cream is actually recognized in other countries. It's a separate breed. It's not the golden retriever. It's a, um, in America, they're registered with the AKC as a golden retriever, but they call it um, a white, so, um, or a light. So it's a little different here, but Bison's lines are from Denmark. So uh, they have just champions upon champions in their line and where we got this darker color to start with, Brie was a light red. As she got older, she turned really, really light, uh, a little lighter than this here. Yeah, oh, she got hit, she got hit. And then their daddy is a red Paddington and Paddington comes from our Mrs. Beasley line. Um, Mrs. Beasley and Mr. Bean, not to be confused with beans, totally different poodle and so that's where the red comes in and so uh, we wanted to get something that you know was a little a little darker and so what we did is we mixed some of our best lines together all in one here and you've got a wonderful trainable beautiful awesome pet um, so let's kind of go through we looked at the peanut butter orange collar this is white collar boy He's a little more apricot, his back is dark. Light peanut butter here is red collar boy. He's the biggest, he's got this shimmer here, so we'll watch him to see. He is lightening up. And then we have little dark green boy, and he is a cream, so he's light of the light. And then we have burgundy collar boy, which, oh my goodness, if you can see, there's just a tiny little spot on his head. Hi, baby, he's a very light peanut butter probably closer to an apricot. These dark ears will stay dark. All right, who am I missing? And as you guys see, our little, the little guy of the litter, definitely a mini. Um, I mean, we'll have to watch him. He might be on the more closer to petite size and lime green collar boy, and he is a white. And then here we have black collar boy, another one of the bigger ones, closer to an apricot. And who are we missing? I think I told you about yellow. Yellow is also uh, a peanut butter color. So we'll just kind of back up here so you, can, you guys can see them, especially next to the white potty pad. That might help see who's the darkest and who's the lightest. And, um, you know, we breed for uniformity, so personality or temperament is, is very, very similar. You're not gonna notice a lot of differences. It's the individual little personality quirks that come out that people find um, you know, intriguing and and who will mesh with your family? That's what you need to, to think about. Who's gonna mesh with your lifestyle, with your family, with your existing pets? They're all gonna be awesome for children. Yeah. Come here. You want me to pet you? 
Oh, oh goodness. You're so sweet. Yes, yes. So if you need to know a little more information about what's going on, uh, tune into the video with all of the puppies because I do a lot of talking there too. But we're just gonna, gonna cut this back here so that you guys aren't um, getting too much video and they need to get back to mama. Mama wants them, they want mama. Look at we're starting to fall asleep. Has it been a big day? Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you next week.